Today we're going to revisit selection sets to help you aid in editing and organizing your animations. I'm going to first start by making some selection sets in the order that the objects will either assemble or disassemble. In this case I'm going to name it O1, Piston, O2, Rings, etc. And I'm using the O1, O2 so that they'll organize themselves in the tree. Once I have all my selection sets made, I start at time zero and pull each object off screen in the direction that it would assemble or again or disassemble. And then pull them off screen and reduce the opacity. Next, once I get them all off screen, I can start with the first selection, restore the neutral position, and bring back the opacity. Then I set a key for the second object, move the timeline, restore the neutral position, and restore the opacity. And I keep doing this through all the items. Restoring the neutral, bringing up the opacity. Once that's all done, now I can use my filters on the selection sets. So for example, I'm going to select the rings, filter the keys, and I can see these two keys are related to the rings. I'm going to copy those back using control key. Now I have three keys exactly in the same position. The middle one, I'm going to expand up in the Y and Z direction. And then I'm going to go to my previous key. Oop, previous key. And then I'm just going to move those up a little bit. And then when I play back the animation, the rings are going to come down. Then they'll expand and contract over the piston. So now because I have selection sets, I can go back to any piece I want. So these circlips that just go through the piston, I can start tweaking those in the same manner. Select the object, use the filters, and now I can see the actual keys related to that object. I'll just copy them back again. Control key, copy. Maybe make one more. And then I can do the same thing I did on the pistons. I just start tweaking it a little bit for each each one. And again, because I have the selection sets, I can see what's inside there. I can go to each, each circlip and tweak them individually if I want to. Lastly, using selection sets and filter, I can see the finished animation with my collaboration tools and see everything come together, and I can edit it nice and easy. Hope these tips helped. Thanks.